Blessed is our God, always now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to our God, glory to you. Heavenly King, Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, everywhere present, filling all things, treasure of blessings and giver of life. Come and dwell in us, cleanse us of every stain, and save our souls, O gracious one. Amen. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious to us in our sins. Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, consider our weaknesses and heal them for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance, granting victory to the faithful of our adversaries and protecting your commonwealth by your cross. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Lift it up on the cross by your free will, Christ God. Grant mercies to the new commonwealth that bears your name. Gladden our faithful rulers by your power, giving them victory over their adversaries. May your alliance be for them a weapon of peace and invincible standard, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Awesome and unfailing protection, do not spurn our supplications. Gracious and all praise, Theotokos. Uphold the Orthodox Commonwealth, preserve those you have called to govern, and grant them victory from on high. For you, the only Blessed One, gave birth to God. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray to you. Hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, let us pray for all devout and Orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Archbishop and Father Savas and all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. Glory to the holy and consubstantial and life-giving and undivided Trinity, always now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill to men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill to men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill to men. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise. O Lord, why do so many taunt me? Many are those who rise up against me. Many who say to me, there is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts up my head. I cried out to the Lord in a loud voice, and from his holy mountain he heard me. As for me, I lay down and slept, and I awoke, for the Lord will be my help. I will not fear ten thousand people arrayed against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, my God, for you have stricken all who hated me without cause. You have shattered the sinner's teeth. This deliverance is the Lord's. Upon your people be your blessing. As for me, I lay down and slept, then I awoke, for the Lord will be my help. O Lord, in your anger rebuke me not, chastise me not in your wrath. Your arrows have bored into me, and your hand weighs heavily upon me. Because of your wrath, there is no soundness in my flesh, there is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my iniquities have overwhelmed me, they have weighed upon me like a heavy load. My sores have become stench and festering because of my folly. A stooping and exhausted wreck, I stumbled mourning all the day. My loins were running with fever, for my life is a total mockery, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I was crushed and deeply afflicted. I roared with the groaning of my heart. O oh Lord, all my longing is known to you, and my groaning is no secret to you. My heart races, my strength has left me, and even the light of my eyes has failed me. My friends and companions approached and stood by while my closest kinsmen kept their distance. And those who sought my life were egged on while those who wished me ill spoke lies, plotting deception all the day. But I remained as a deaf man and heard them not, as a dumb man and opened not my mouth. As a man who has not heard a thing and thus has no retort upon his lips. In you, O Lord, I place my trust. You will give heed, O Lord, my God. I said, O oh, that my foes cease to gloat over me, who bluster mightily when my feet stumbled. As for me, I am ready to be scourged, and my pain is with me always. Indeed, I myself confess my guilt, and I will live in anguish because of my sin. But my enemies survive and overpower me, and those who hate me without cause are multiplied. Those who, remembering evil for good, oppose me when I sought but justice. O Lord God, forsake me not. Stay not afar from me. Hasten to help me, O Lord of my salvation. In you, O Lord, I have placed my trust. You will give heed, O Lord, my God. Hasten to help me, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, at dawn I rise to you. My soul has thirsted for you, and oh, how my flesh has hungered for you. Like a desolate and trackless land that has no water, so did I become before you in your holy place to see the power and the glory that are yours. 
Since your love is better than life itself, my lips shall declare your praise. So shall I bless you as long as I live, and I lift up my hands and call upon your name. My soul shall be filled with choices fair, and joyful lips will praise your name. As I lie on my couch, I remembered you. I meditated on you throughout the early watches, that you became for me the helping one, that in the shelter of your wings I will find delight. My soul clings to you, and your right hand holds me up. But as for those who sought my life in vain, may they sink into the depths of the earth and be given over to the sword, the prey of the jackals they shall be. But the king shall rejoice in God, and all who swear by him shall glory, for the mouth of the liars is stopped. I meditated on you throughout the earlier watches that you became for me the helping one, that in the shelter of your wings I will find delight. My soul clings to you, and your right hand holds me up. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, day and night I cried out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you, lend your ear to my plea, O Lord. For my soul was filled with trouble, and my life came close to Hades. I was reckoned with those who go down to the pit. I was like a man beyond help, left for dead. Like the slain left to lie in the grave, those you remember no more, for they are cut away from your hand. You have cast me down to the deepest abyss, into darkness and the shadow of death. Your anger was a burden upon me, you poured your billows over me. You took my friends away from me, you made me lose them to them. I was closed in and could not escape, my eyes grew dim with distress. I cried out to you, O Lord, all the day, I stretched out my hands to you. But will you work wonders for the dead, or can physicians raise them up to sing your praise? Does anyone sing your love in the grave, or your truthfulness in the midst of perdition? Are your marvels ever known in darkness, or your justice in the land of oblivion? And yet, O Lord, I cried out to you, and to you my prayer shall rise at dawn. Why, O Lord, do you reject my prayer? Why do you hide your face away from me? I am wretched and troubled since my youth. I was raised high, then humbled in distress. Your plagues have swept over me, and your terrors have left me shaken. They surround me like waters all the day. They close in upon me from all sides. You have distanced from me, friend and neighbor, and my acquaintances, so wretched am I. O Lord, God of my salvation, day and night I cried out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you. Lend your ear to my request, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul. May all that is in me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all the gifts from him, who pardons all your sins and heals all your infirmities, who ransoms your life from corruption and crowns you with his love and mercies, who fills your longing with what is good, and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord performs deeds of kindness and vindication for all the oppressed. He has made known his ways to Moses and his will to Israel's children. The Lord is the one of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and manifold love. His contention is not forever, nor will his anger always last. He has not dealt with us as our sins demand, nor does he repay our evil deeds. For as high as the heavens stand over the earth, so far as the Lord extended his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our sins from us. As kind as a father is to his children, so is the Lord to those who fear him. For he himself knows well how we were formed, remembers we were only made of dust. A man his days resemble grass, as a flower of the field, so shall he bloom. But let a breeze pass over him, and he is gone, and never shall he know his place again. But the love of the Lord is from all eternity to all eternity for those who fear him. And his justice is upon the children of children of those who remember his covenant who keep his covenant and remember his laws to obey them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven over all things. His kingship is supreme. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you strong and mighty ones, who obey his word on hearing the sound of his decree. Bless the Lord, all you his powers, his attendants, who obey his will. Bless the Lord, all you his his works in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul, in every place of his dominion. O Lord, hear my prayer in your truthfulness. Give heed to my plea, and in your righteousness answer me. And enter not in the judgment with your servants, since all the living none is just in your sight. The enemy has hunted me down. He has crushed my life into the ground. He has forced me to live in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints with grief, and within me my heart is in despair. I recalled the days of old. I meditated on all your deeds. I pondered the works of your hands. I stretched out my hand to you like a parched land. My soul thirsts for you. Make haste to answer me, O Lord. My spirit has failed me. Turn not your face away from me, lest I be like those in the pit. Grant that I may hear your steadfast love at dawn, for I have placed my hope in you. O Lord, teach me the way I should go, for I have lifted up my soul to you. O Lord, deliver me from my enemies. It is to you that I have fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. For the sake of your name, O Lord, you will keep me alive. In your righteousness, you will deliver me from affliction, and in your loving kindness, you will destroy my enemies. And bring to naught all those who oppress me, for I am your servant. O Lord, hear my prayer and your truthfulness. Give heed to my plea, and in your righteousness, answer me. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. 
Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to you, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For heavenly peace and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of God's holy churches, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and all who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop and Father Savas, the honorable priest with the deacons in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, the president, and all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the city and this parish, for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For temperate weather, abundance of the goods of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for those who are sick or suffering or in captivity, and for their safekeeping, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be spared all affliction, wrath, danger, and want. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, in your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, us. let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For all glory, honor, and worship are your due Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. to the Lord and call upon his holy name. God is the Lord and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. <laughs> And this came about from the Lord, and it is wonderful in our eyes. God is the Lord, and He revealed Himself to us. Blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, those three magnificent luminaries of the trisolar Godhead who lit up the whole world with rays of divine doctrine, those mellifluent rivers of wisdom, who irrigated all creation with the waters of the knowledge of God, Basil the Great and Gregory the Theologian, and the illustrious John, whose tongue produced golden words, let all of us who are enamored with their words come together and sing hymns to honor them, for they are ever interceding with the Trinity on our behalf. <laughs> Otto nolon despotis, 
Εσύ τι Αγία Κιβώτο, ο Σέφη, ο Δίκαιος Δαβίδ, έδειχνης πλατητέρα των ουρανών, βαστάσασα τον κτίστη σου, δόξα το ενικήσαν τη Εσύ, δόξα το προερθόν τη Εξού, δόξα το ελευθερώσαν τη ημάς διά του τόκου. So, oh, oh. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Remembering, commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious most Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. For yours is the dominion, yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Ζωή Ανέστη ο Κύριος, παρέχον το κόσμο, το Μεγά Ελεός. Glory to the Father, in the Son, in the Holy Spirit, most radiant luminaries of the Church of Christ. O fathers made wise by God, you have enlightened the world. With your doctrines and treatises, reducing every error and heretical teaching, extinguishing the fiery confusion of blasphemers, and therefore as hierarchs of Christ intercede that we be saved. <laughs> Παρθένε πανίμνητε μη τη Χριστού του Θεού, Μαρία Θεόν υφεύτε και απειρώγαμε. Πιστόν οι αντλήσεις χρήσε παντός κινδύνου και παντίας ανάγκης δέσποινα Θεοτόκε. Τους εμπίστη και πόθο της σκέπης σου προσφεύγοντας μόνοι Θεόνι φεύγει. Ο life, you rose from the sepulchre, even though the tomb was secured with a seal, O Christ God, then although the doors were shut, You came to your disciples, O resurrection of fall. Through them you renew a right spirit in us, according to your great mercy. Προσυπτάμενος ημίς περιεδρέψεστε καλώς και τον ανθέον τα όριστα και το μέλι. Όσοι της πίστης των διδαγμάτων ημών προτίθεστε όμου εις πανδασίαν αυτών και διά του τόπας γλυκενόμενος Μέτε φροσύνη σκραυγά. Πάρεστε πάλι και με τα πότμων τη σήμα. Εφημούση μακάτρι. Both 
both now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Without conscience I am tossed about the storms the passing bring. Hence I fervently invoke you to assist me, O pure maid, since you gave birth to the abyss of mercy. Leave me not to drown, wretched coward that I am, for except for you I have no other hope. Let me not become the laughing stock of demons, for I have placed my hope in you, and you are able to do as you will, as the mother of God of all. I sophi didaskali tis ikumenis I theon loxasandes eris jelojis epitis jis Megalin estos en simeron, o sotiria simir, ondes proxenin. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> On this day the Church of Christ is celebrating the August and Gala feast of three great teachers of the Church, for they supported and strengthened her <clears throat> by their divine words and dogmas inspired by God. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Why do you mingle the ointments with your tears full of pity, O women disciples? Thus the angel who was shining in the tomb cried out to the mirror-bearing women, <clears throat> See for yourselves the empty tomb and understand that the Savior has risen from the sepulchre. <laughs> Alle pesti prosaftas, o angelos ye ipe, trinu tjeros pepafte, mi klete, tin anastaside, apostolis ipate. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. When the myrrh-bearing women had come with their spices to your sepulchre, O Savior, they heard the voice of an angel clearly speaking to them, Why do you account among the dead the one who lives? For as God he is risen from the sepulchre. <clears throat> In a yantria than me at the Usia, Sindhi Seraphim, Kras on the Stoyos, Ayos, Ayos, Now and forever and unto the ages of ages, Amen. Giving birth to the giver of life, O Virgin, you delivered Adam from sin, and to Eve you have rendered joy in place of sorrow. He who from you became incarnate God and man, 
has directed to life him who fell from it. Alleluia, 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 doxa sio teo. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 doxa sio teo. Peace, let us again pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. For blessed is your name and glorified is your kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. O Christ God, who took our form and bodily endured the cross, save me by your resurrection as the one who loves mankind. In the south, he who sows afflictions with tears and with fasting will reap sheaves of joy, the staff of life everlasting. Rejoice and be glad as you offer them to Christ, O Chief Shepherd. <laughs> God. Arise, O Lord, my God, let your hand be lifted high, and do not forget your poor to the end. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Amen. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, most the Theotokos, of ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. For you are our God, and we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. On the 30th of this month, we commemorate our fathers among the saints, the universal, the universal teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Christensen. The three morning stars. No longer will death's dominion have power to detain mortal men, for Christ went down and smashed and destroyed its powers. Now Hades is bound in the prophets, in unison, exalt and declare that the Savior has appeared to those with faith. Come out, you faithful, to the resurrection. The netherworld below is trembling today, Hades and death before one of the Trinity. The earth was convulsing, and the wardens of hell, seeing you, cowered in fear, yet creation all, rejoicing with the prophets, sings an ode of triumph to you, our Redeemer and God, who now has destroyed the power of death to Adam and to those who were born of him 
Let us shout in triumph and cry aloud. A tree has brought this man back in. Come out, you faithful, to the resurrection. Come out, you faithful, to the resurrection. On the 30th of this month, we commemorate our fathers among the saints, the universal teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Christensen. The three morning stars, it is fitting to reverence, who welled up triply shining light in their lifetime. A common hymn it is to meet all who should offer them. To them that poured out common grace unto all men, the spring cometh not with but a, a single swallow. While these three nightingales are the soul's fair springtime, the Trinity lighteth noetic creation, and this Trinity the visible creation. The worship of God midst men of old perished when the sun and moon received senseless devotion. For those men, marveling at their speed and beauty, offered them worship as gods in no wisely rightly. But again, by these three lights shining with splendor, we are, able, we are brought back to God in his rightful worship. For by their life's beauty and their words' persuasion, they sway all to worship the only creator. The fire and air and water and earth's nature together compose this, the visible creation. And they who constitute the world that is, that is greater, faith toward God, as it were another creation, do bear the primordial Trinity's image. For their members had not that was low or earthly, neither was any earthly mind in their discourse. For Gregory, the ever watchful mind, breatheth fire as his word, persuading all to speed Godward. To such as are faint-hearted because of passions, Basil's words bring them refreshment and reviving. And he, that in heart and mouth alone is golden, and imitating the mighty flow of waters, cooleth and restoreth those withered in passions. So with their word bring, up, bring they up all mortal nature, from the depths of the earth to the height of heaven. The gold triple sun shone with one light on the 30th. By the intercessions of these three, O Christ our Savior, and of all the saints, cast down the uprisings of heresies and preserve us in oneness of mind in a peaceful condition and deem us worthy of thy heavenly kingdom. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages, amen. You have taken to yourself, O Lord, the pinnacles among teachers, those sacred theologians and preachers, to enjoy your blessings and repose. For you accepted their labors and their toil as being higher than any whole burnt offering. For, your only, you, for only you glorify your saints. Who is fit to open his lips and move his tongue to speak about these three men who breathed fire in the power of word and spirit? Yet I will dare say this much, that these three excellent men be excelled beyond all human nature in their many and great spiritual gifts, and in the act of life, as well as in the contemplation they surpassed, even those who proved illustrious in both. Therefore you counted them worthy of the greatest gifts, since they were your faithful servants. For you... Only you glorify your saints. On this day, we commemorate the contest of the Holy Higher Martyrs, Hippolytus, Pope of Rome, and those with him, Censorinus, Sabanus, Chrissy, Felix, Maximus, Herculanus, Venerius, Styrasius, Manus, Commodus, Hermes, Morus, Asubius, Restacus, Monagrius, Amandinus, Olympius, Cyprus, Theodore the Tribune, Maximus the Presbyter, Archelaus the Deacon, and, Cyrus, and Cyricus the Bishop, who were martyred in Ostia. Hippolytus entered the sea with daring, like a stamping horse on a smooth plain and meadow. Censorinus, on stretching out his neck for the cutting, was as a whetstone to the blade for his fellow athletes. Wicked men who have no bowels of compassion burn with their torches the entrails of Sabanius. Chrissy is cast into the deep and approacheth heaven's bridal chamber as a bride fresh from washing. On the 30th, seawater slew Hippolytus. On this day, we commemorate the contest of the holy martyr Theophilus, the new of Constantinople. Theophilus' head, his beloved, is severed since he will not love the gods of the barbaric. On this day, the holy martyr, Hatsi Theodore of Mytilene, My, My, was perfected in martyrdom by hanging in the year 1784. 
Theodore, who was willingly martyred, willingly received incorruptible laurels. On this day, we commemorate the most pious king of Bulgaria, Peter. On this day, we commemorate our righteous father, Zeno, the faster of the Kiev caves. On this day, our righteous mother, Pelagia Ivanova, the fool for Christ's sake, of the Seraphim Divayevo Covenant, reposed in peace in the year 1884. On this day, we celebrate the Synaxis of Tinos, icon of the most holy Theotokos. By their holy intercessions, O God, have mercy on us. Amen. Coming forth from the ark of your holiness, your mother who sustained no corruption, you appear today in your glorious temple as an infant held in arms, and the entire creation was filled with your praise. <laughs> I pangelon loxis, thori forumenos, o talas evo aego, rogaridon somatumenon theo, fotosan esperu, jairi nin desposon da. seeing you with his own eyes the salvation that you prepared for all people God from God are you Christ my Savior Eon logo nimenume, efse vos melodundes, evlajitos o teos, o ton bateron nimoi. Em numen evlogumen ke proskinumen ton kirion, unharmed were the young men who were champions, of the belief in God when they were thrown into the furnace and they faced unbearable fire and they sang a hymn to God. All you works of the Lord, bless the Lord and exalt him beyond measure unto the ages. Let us pray to the Lord. For you are holy, our God, who rests among the saints, and to you we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. In the sight of night, I saw in the sea the Gideon. Oh. 
Let us pray to the Lord our God that we may be made worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. I will spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to thee. At that time, Jesus revealed himself again to the Sea of Tiberias, and he revealed himself in this way. Simon Peter, Thomas called the twin, Nathaniel of Cana in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two others of his disciples were together. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We will go with you. They went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. Just as day was breaking, Jesus stood on the beach, but the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you any fish? They answered him, No. He said to them, Cast the net on the right side of the boat, and you will find some. So they cast it, and now they were not able to haul it in for the quantity of fish. The disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put on his clothes, for he was stripped for work and sprang into the sea. But the other disciples came in the boat, dragging the net full of fish, for they were not far from the land, but about a hundred yards off. When they got out on land, they saw a charcoal fire there with fish lying on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish that you have just caught. So Simon Peter went aboard and hauled the net ashore, full of large fish, a hundred and fifty-three of them. And although there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come and have breakfast. Now none of the disciples dared ask him, Who are you? They knew it was the Lord. Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them, and so were the fish. This was now the third time that Jesus was revealed to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you, Lord. And we have the resurrection of Christ. Let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. You cross of Christ who venerate and you hold the resurrection. We praise and glorify for you are our God. Apart from you, we know no other. We call upon your name. Come, all faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through, through the cross, joy, joy has come to the, whole, to, the, to the whole world. Heaven blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection for having endured the cross for us. He destroyed death by death. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness and cleanse me from my sin. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your works and overcome in your judgment. Behold, you love truth, you showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. The bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Create me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Apatuprosoposu, yet opnevasutayon, 
me and Danielis Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. If you desired sacrifice, I would give it. You will not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then they shall offer young bulls on your altar and have mercy on me, O God. Now and forever and unto the ages of ages, amen. <clears throat> At the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Lord of mercy, blot out my many offenses. <laughs> O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Look upon your world with mercy and compassion. Raise the Orthodox Christians in glory and send down upon us your rich mercies. Through the intercessions of our most pure lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable and glorious prophet and forearm John the Baptist, the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, our fathers among the saints, Athanasius, Cyril, and John the merciful patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas, Bishop of Mira, Spiridon, Bishop of Trimitus, Nectarius of Pentapolis, the wonder workers, the holy, glorious, great martyrs, George the victorious, Demetrius the mirror blessed, Theodore the tyrant, and Theodore the general, Menas the wonder worker, the hieromartyrs, Haralambos, and Eleftherios, the holy, glorious, and victorious martyrs, the glorious, great martyr, and Lord of Ephemia, the Holy Glorious Martyrs, Tecla, Varvara, Anastasia, Katerini, Kiriaki, Fotini, Marina, Paraskevi, and Irini. Of our Holy God, bearing fathers of the Holy and Right Sisters of God, Joachim and Anna. Of our fathers among the saints, great ecumenical teachers and hierarchs, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Christom, whose memory celebrate and of all your saints. We beseech you, only merciful Lord, hear us sinners who pray to you and have mercy on us. <laughs> Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. compassion and love of mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Let us honor and magnify in song the Theotokos and the Mother of Light. <laughs> I pity the old Sotirimu, 
ότι επέβλεψε με την ταπείνωση της δούλης αυτού τη δουγάρα ποτούνι μακάριους με πάσε εγένε. You are honored more than the cherubim and you have more glory when compared to the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Logos. You are the Theotokos, you do we magnify. <laughs> Την δημιωτέραν των χερουβείων και εν δοξωτέραν ασυγκρίτως των σεραφείων την αδία φθόρος θέων λόγων τεκούσαν την όντως θεοτόκον σε μεγάλη νόμε. He has shown strength with his army, has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. You are honored more than the cherubim, and you have more glory when compared to the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Logos. You are the Theotokos, you do we magnify. <laughs> Πίνοντας ελέπλησεν αγαθόν και πλουτώντας εξαπέστη λέγενους την δημιωτέραν των χερουβείμ και εν δοξωτέραν ασυγκρίτως των σεραφείμ την αδία φθόρος θεών λόγων τεκούσα την όντως θεοτόκον He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seat forever. You are honored more than the cherubim, and you have more glory when compared to the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Logos. You are the Theotokos, you do we magnify. Πάντων των Χριστιανών σκέπε φρούρι φύλατε τους ελπίζοντας είσαι εν όμως κοιά και γραμματή τύπον κατή δομένη πίστη πανάρσεν το την μήτρα διανοίγον Άγιον Θεόν Διό πρωτότοκον λόγον, πατρός ανάρχου Ιών, πρωτότοκουμένον μήτρη, απειλάντρο μεγαλύνομεν. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. For all the powers of heaven praise you and give you glory to the Father, in the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Πλήθος ήρκον 
ηχθείον ον Πέτρος γνώος προς αυτό εν είχε το εις το τρίτον φανείς και αόρτωνε δείξε και εκθείς επαθράκον. Come, let us all extol now the holy vessels of the light, those radiant bolts of lightning, namely that great Saint Basil, Gregory the Theologian, as well as John the Golden Mouth. <laughs> O tower fashioned of pure gold, and city which has a twelvefold wall, O throne a glitter with sunshine, magnificent chair of the king, in a comprehensible wonder, how do you nurse the master? He established them forever unto the ages. He set forth his ordinance, and it shall not pass away. Fire and snow, sun and ice, stormy wind, which perform his work. Wild animals and all cattle, creeping things and flying birds. <laughs> young men and maidens, elders with younger, let them praise the Lord's name, for his name alone is exalted. <laughs> A hymn for all his saints, for the children of Israel, a people who draw near to him. Ah, 
and Let Israel be glad in him who made him, and let the children of Zion greatly rejoice in their king. And in vano Jepsaltirio, Salat o San Aftor. For the Lord is pleased with his people, and he shall exalt the gentle with salvation. He said the Osi and Doxi, the Agalias on the the high praise of God shall be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. To shackle their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. I need to be sent of this grimae crapto, looks out the estepasi, this so sees of two. Ianesti, Christos, Ecnecro. Praise God in his saints, praise him in the firmament of his power. Having seen the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus the only sinless one. Praise Praise him with the sound of the trumpet, praise him with the harp and the lyre. What shall we give to the Lord in return for all that he has rendered to us? For us did God come among men, for our corrupted nature did the Logos become flesh and dwell among us. The benefactor came to the ungrateful. The liberator came to the captives. The son of righteousness to those who sit in darkness. He who is dispassionate suffered on the cross. The light shone in hell. He is who he who is life trampled on death. For the fallen he is the resurrection. Let us cry out to him, glory to you, our God. Elite afton and Ivano Jehoro, Elite afton and Cordes Jehorano, Tis Ephemios de Masi, Stefano Somentus de Dascalus, to the remenus the somasi, just in the menus of nevati, to son theoforo protostatas triados, to cesarismus yethera pondas, posteras de secumenis de alambondas, de seclesias to stilus, o stephanis doxis, Os nitis and as Stephani, Christos of the Osimon, O Echon, Omega, Ele. Praise him with resounding cymbals, praise him with triumphant cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Are there any song worthy songs of praise so that we might sing them to the God bearers? They are known as heaven's initiates and renowned as preachers of sound doctrine. 
unadulterated theologians, St. Basil, the great expositor and hierophant, and also the divine herald of God, Gregory, and also John, who is famous for his tongue was golden. These were glorified as is meet by the Holy Trinity, the Lord who possesses great mercy. in righteousness, your saints shall greatly rejoice. Are there any worthy crowns of praise to lay on John, whose words were golden, with his fellows Basil and Gregory? For they were the Spirit's receptacles, and they were the faith-strong defenders, the pillars of the church, believers from support, assuagement, and also advocates for all who sin. The wells effusing the water that we draw and drink from and are sweetened in our souls while earnestly praying for forgiveness of sins and great mercy. Cross 
داستان ساتیرا و be with all. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. O Holy Lord, who dwells in higher regards, the Lord of our Lord, the Lord creation of God, the neck of our soul and body. And we entreat you, stretch forth your invisible hand for your holy volume, and bless us all in the name of the Lord, 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 the Lord,
Christ our God and all glory to you. May Christ our true God, who rose from the dead, have mercy on us and save us as a good, loving, and merciful God through the prayers of his most holy and pure mother. The power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable Barbalus, prayers of heaven, the supplications of the holy glories, prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy glorious apostles, the holy God, thine fathers, the holy victorious martyrs, the holy righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Adam, saints, Basil the great, Gregor the theologian, and John Chrysostom, the three hierarchs. Saints Athanasia, Athanasia and the, the martyr and her three daughters, the Artisti, the Adota, and Epoxia, the Colletus, the Pope, around whose memory we celebrate this day of all the saints. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen.